first, to understand what gene expression means, you have to have a sense of what we tend to refer to in the field as the central dogma of molecular biology. Another way to think about this is the flow of biological information from DNA, in other words, our chromosomes, which every cell has its complement, uh, to be transcribed into a sister molecule called RNA. So this process of converting DNA into RNA is called transcription. And that is the topic uh, of this lecture. This process is very complicated, as you'll see by the end of my two lectures. And it is very important for many, many fundamental processes uh, in biology. So what I'm going to spend today's lecture on is the discovery of a large family of transcription proteins. These are factors, we call them, that are key molecules that regulate the use of genetic information uh, that has been encoded in the genome. Now, transcription factors or proteins are involved in many fundamental aspects of biology including embryonic development, cellular differentiation, and cell fate. In other words, pretty much what your cells are doing, how a tissue works, and how an organism survives and reproduces is dependent on the process of gene expression. And the first step in this process is transcription. Now, there's, there are many other reasons why uh, a large group of people and scientists are interested in transcription. And another reason is that understanding the fundamental molecular mechanisms that controls transcription in humans or in any other organism uh, can inform us and teach us about what happens when something goes wrong for example, in diseases. And I list here just a few diseases that uh, you know, we could study as a result of understanding the structure and function of these transcription factor proteins that I'm going to be telling you about. And of course, the hope is that in understanding the molecular underpinnings of complex diseases like cancer, diabetes, Parkinson's, and so forth, that we will be able to develop and use uh, better, th more specific therapeutic drugs, and also to develop more accurate and rapid diagnostic tools. So those are a couple of the reasons why many of us have spent, in my case, over 30 years studying this process of transcriptional regulation. 